Hello guys, welcome back with another video. Today we have the next part to what if Naruto was Obito's little brother. Sorry I did upload last week. I um, kind of went to go do something. Kind of part of a second channel now. You know, it's called All Around Anime. Where you can catch my what if Deku had a portal creation quirk. And two of the great videos created by it. Well, guess you just have to go over there to find out. Link will be in the description. You know, you should go check it out. Even though at the time of recording, we only have about three videos so far. I think by the time this go, we'll have, I don't know, more, like four or five. But for those who's already come from all around anime and decide to subscribe to, you know, my channel, thanks first. And welcome. But anyways, with that out of the way, let's get straight on to playing that intro. It's our time to shine. Show that's the kind of state of mind you gotta combine with hard work and time. You gotta climb to the top. Don't let yourself drop till your heart stops. Let this beat rock. Got a new clock and a new stock for this new rock. Just let your mind loose from the new stock. Drunk off the goose. Yeah. Thinking that I'm too pop. Yeah. Getting caught with a few thoughts. Alright, let's start things up with the three years of training for Naruto. Uchi, uh, um, we first start off things about where we left off where Naruto would be taken to some base by Obito. Probably the same place where he took Sasuke as he'd explain to Naruto what the Akatsuki exactly is. Not really telling Naruto much about them before, but, you know, Naruto Uchiha knows, you know, bits and pieces just enough that they're after his friend Naruto. And they wanted Gar for some reason. As Obito would explain about the nine Biju, Naruto would have had heard about some one of them before, but never really encountered many jits, you know, Kurama and Shukaku. I thought he thought they were yokai or something. Obito would explain that. As Obito would basically explain that through the nine Biju, they'll be able to bring peace throughout the world and would be leaving some key parts out but enough for naruto to be suspicious but not believe him entirely but he would buy it for now for his stress for obito and why would he obito lie you know obito would never lie right <laughs> but after that obito would tell him that they're gonna start you know getting him stronger to actually you know fight higher level jinjuriki than just gara and now that he has his MS, he can actually start fighting higher tiered, older Jinjuriki like, you know, Yugito, maybe Fu, B, and the others they haven't hunted down and captured yet. And who knows, he might actually get to fight a Biju itself. But nevertheless, Obito would start training Naruto to how to use. To try out his MS, first they tried to, you know, see what his ability is, and at first they would think it was Kamui. They, you know, Naruto would think he's gonna get the same old ability as Obito. His MS is technically the only one he's seen so far, but would discover after again a few rocks thrown at him that this isn't the case, and that he just has the ability the, you know, instead of things going through him or him going through things, he can swap places with things. Kind of like Sasuke's Renegon ability, that name I cannot say for the life of me. Although it's not Kamui, Naruto would still like it. The ability is fun and powerful, can be used in many ways. Also, during these years, he teach him how to use some high-level Genjutsu, which he would struggle with at first since, you know, he's never really had to use Genjutsu before. Actually, he's never tried before, so that would be quite a challenge. But eventually, thanks to his Shangun, he would be able to pick it up. Learn this time he also kind of works on his wood style so yeah the guy gets to you know learn how to do the wood golem in deep forest emergence because why not naruto eventually would be introduced to the rest of the akatsuki members probably through one of their hologram meetings and the wood notice that itachi is you know kind of there but would decide not to bring it up during the meeting, although he would wonder if Itachi would, you know, recognize him. And he would have a flashback to the night of his parents' murder, and so would actually start to seethe in anger and start shaking. 
Obito would notice this and so would try to end the meeting as quickly as possible so that nothing really, you know, starts up. And after him and Naruto would have a talk of Obito basically telling Naruto to keep his cool. And Naruto yelling at Obito why, hey, why did you tell me Itachi was kinda in the Akatsuki? And it would basically start going off on Obito as well. eventually. When Naruto would be done or Obito would get annoyed enough and just stop him. He explained because he knew how he'd react and that he would have probably tried to kill Itachi as fast as possible and that he kind of still has a need for him. Naruto would mention that he could probably easily replace Itachi but Obito would rather have both Uchiha's on his side as he would explain that and would say that once they're done capturing all the biju that he can kill Itachi and really anyone he wants. Naruto, although still there angry that he can't, you know, kill his parents' murderer, he would reluctantly accept Obito's offer. Although he would storm away with Obito remarking that he's probably going to be a problem in the future. Or maybe that's more of Zetsu would say that. As Obito would say, that would be no problem as he's got him right under his control when he wants him to be. But with that, that's about all that will happen for Naruto during these three years. And so we move on to, you know, when they all would return to the leaf. But eventually, you know, the Naruto's will return to the village, Obito dropping Naruto off. And reminding him not to, you know, get too attached. Although Obito would know Naruto wouldn't really take this warning seriously, and so would take his leave. You know, by coincidence, Jirai and Naruto would be walking by as Naruto would notice Uchiha. Naruto would have to do this again. And so Naruto would run up to him and probably give him a hug or something. Or it would just yell and Uchiha and Naruto would notice him and the two would shake hands or something. Asking each other how they're been and, you know, kind of taking a look at, you know, how they look. Talking about each other's glow up in that Uchiha Naruto would like Naruto's new outfit and his darker colors. And Naruto, you know, regular Naruto would go on about how much stronger he's gotten. Anyways, eventually they would meet up with Sakura. That interaction basically plays out as in canon. Where Naruto, which yeah, I would check up on Naruto after he got punched. But anyways, eventually they do meet up with Suzunade, Shizune, and eventually, you know, Kakashi. Also Shikamaru, Tamari, and a lot more people. Oh wait, that was the next arc where they met up with everyone else. So just Shikamaru and Tamari. But eventually get to the point of all this of basically you know team seven still being giving their um, second bell test and having to fight kakashi as we head to there you know all of them heading to the training field kakashi would explain the rules and that actually this time the goal is to actually take the bells although when bringing up sasuke name naruto uchiha would be about the only one not as affected. Anyways, the test starts and Naruto is the first to attack Uzumaki. Basically does the same things as in canon, although after, you know, he's done with the whole kunai to Kakashi's back. Naruto would swap in unexpectedly and would land a solid blow on Kakashi. This would be revealed to be a clone as Kakashi would remark on how that was actually pretty close. Sakura still comes in with the punch which would miss Kakashi although it would cause heavy damage to the ground. So Naruto Uchiha would pull out the wood style and would use the deep force emergence to you know make it easier since Kakashi is now kind of isolated and Naruto's with the team so he is able to guide the team through the forest. He's had time to practice and it would also, you know, light it on fire, kind of like Madara. Which would make it very hard for Kakashi to, you know, escape. As multiple wrenches and vines would start popping up and start attacking Kakashi, 
which he'd be forced to dodge and counter and slash away with his kunai and even a few wood dragons would catch him off guard and slam him to the ground and multiple would start flying at him. It's actually forcing Kakashi to even use his Mangekyo and use a Kamui for a bit at least enough to free him, although that would tire him out a bit. And Seven would emerge from out of nowhere and you know basically all start attacking Kakashi. As things around the area would start to kind of turn blur blurry and distort as Kakashi would start to feel sick and he would eventually realize oh this is again Jutsu and try and break out which he would but by then it would be too late as the team would have the bells. As the team would pass as Kakashi would congratulate them and would actually compliment them saying that they've grown pretty strong over these three years. What the heck was that voice crack? Anyways, for the, you know, Kazakage rescue mission, nothing happens. There is no Kazakage rescue mission. Team 7 would just be staying around, you know, just probably doing some other missions for that arc. It'd be an actual A rank mission where they have to fight off assassins. Although this time it would be pretty easy. This also means no, you know, whole thing with the Rochimar. Yeah, that arc doesn't play out either. The only portions that remain the same are when Sasuke kills Orochimaru. So this time is spent with rest training missions and Naruto probably gets to learn the Russian Shuriken earlier. But eventually Obito would call Naruto Uchiha in saying that he has a, you know, job for him. And that would basically be to go hunt a biju with sorcery and data. What will happen? Well, find out next part. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to, of course, like, comment, and subscribe, and share. And also, don't forget to go check out All Around Anime, where you can find, you know, an extra what if for me if you ever get bored of the ones I'm doing here. Anyways, with that, see you all next time. Stay wise, everyone.